All right, 2003 Corvette C5 LS1. Today I'm going to be pulling out the electronic brake control module, which is the EBCM, and it controls the traction as well as the ABS itself. And I'm going to be pulling out to be checking for any loose connections, something like that, if anything needs to be soldered. Anytime that you go to hit the active handling button, nothing works. And you can feel that the car does have issues. Like if you slam on the brakes too hard, the brakes just lock up. And if you go sideways in the car, traction control does not kick on. All right, here we are in the engine bay and the electronic brake control module. And you see these uh, barcodes, that sticker there, that's that module right there. I've already unplugged the harness. It just slides back and then you have to pry the top off with a screwdriver or some flat, something with a flat surface. And you can see all the uh, brake lines going right into that block. And what that does is it activates the brakes, certain brakes, depending on which way your car is sliding. It also, this is the uh, electronic throttle position sensor. It will also kind of back your foot off the, the gas pedal. Like You'll feel the gas pedal kind of kick back at you to cut off fuel being delivered to the engine that could possibly be causing your slides or whatnot, whatever the issue may be going on. And that module is not working, so I'm gonna be pulling that out. And I'm going to be using a Torx. There's uh, four bolts, two on the top, two on the bottom, and it is a little cramped in here. So it's gonna take a little bit just to get that out. All right, what you're gonna use for this is a Torx 20. Pretty much like a star key to be able to get those bolts out that hold the EBCM into place. Alright, there's uh, four bolts that hold that unit in. And you can see I already took that wire harness out, so you got a bolt down on the corner. And there's going to be one on the opposite corner, which I can't even see with the camera. Then you got the two bolts on the corners up top. Not these bolts sticking out here. You can kind of see it hidden in the back. Can't really get to it to point at it, but there's one also kind of hidden on that left side there as well. So you're going to take out those four bolts to be able to remove that assembly. All right, so if this is the first time it's coming out, it's going to be a little tough. So I'm just getting a chisel. I'm going to place it right in between the crack there, and I'm just going to hit the end with a rubber mallet. Just go gently until it pops off. All right, after spending some time, finally got the EBCM, electronic brake control module, out of the car. And there's a the model information. If you have the basic C5 with the traction control. And I had to pull it out of the spot there. You see all the little ends sticking out there. I have to separate it from that body where all the brake fluid lines run into that control the traction control. And there's six bolts holding it in. So you got the two on the top, two in the middle, and then two on the bottom. So six bolts in total. Then I'm gonna crack this thing open. So I'll take these bolts off and probably have to Separate that with like a knife or something very carefully as to not destroy any of these electronics All right to get these the uh, little bolts out that hold the front plate in I'm gonna use a Torx 15 to get that removed Like that Got that as a uh, Christmas gift. All right, so what I had to do was get a hammer with a chisel and just start hammering at this until I get into it. I mean, I damaged it a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, because if you're gonna refurb this yourself, uh, so I'm just gonna get in there and break into it. So it's gonna take a while to go ahead and get this off. It's sealed on there pretty good, you know, for water. Keep out the water, a little water resistance. So 
This is going to take me a bit, and I'll show it when it's open. All right. On, upon further inspection, I'm not even sure. I don't know anything about electronics. I don't know. It looks like something was burnt. I don't know if liquid got in here somehow. That looks really weird. Like something burned out, something got wet. Uh, that looks like a bad solder there. That channel looks burned out. Mostly, I think it's going to be one, two. Let me get some point at this with. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Usually, those are the channels that go out when you're having problems with your traction control, ABS in the car. But this whole unit, I don't even know if it's worth salvaging. Um, there's a lot of browning in here. It just looks kind of bad. Like just, Things are just burned up. And that looks pretty bad right there. I'm going to have to do some research on the internet. And uh, just kind of educate myself real quick on electronics. Burned out boards, stuff like that. I went ahead and soldered the five points there. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm not that great at it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. This board looked really burned out. Like again, I said I'm not an expert. You can see there's some browning around in this area here. I did clean up a little bit. I used a Q-tip with 91% rubbing alcohol. Because 91% alcohol evaporates pretty quickly just to try to get some of those burn marks off uh, whatever that runny residue was that was a little bit was caked on there and burnt but let's see what happens i'm going to put in a car i really don't know what's going to happen so i'm excited it actually works competitive driving on off so i soldered those five points and it works so i went ahead and reinstalled it just just for now just see if it worked or not so I'm going to have to pull it out and I'm going to have to re uh, get some silicone and some glue and put all that stuff back together, but it, it works. I saved myself $500. I didn't think it would work, but I'll go ahead and close this door since it wants to act up. But attractive, track active handling on, how you hold down the button and then it goes to competitive driving. Turn this light on real quick. So this button right here, active handling. And that's it. I am disgustingly pleased with myself. So that's how you fix that. Thank you for watching. And we'll see what happens on my next endeavor. Always something to fix. Stay tuned, subscribe, I would appreciate it. Thumbs up. And I hope you learned something. I sure did.